Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video, we're gonna learn JavaScript functions. And here you can see an overview of the function syntax. So under definition is how we actually write our function. And we start out by writing a keyword function, which is a reserved keyword in JavaScript, followed by the name, which is gonna be the verb of what the function actually does. Now we have round brackets, and inside the round brackets, we have optional parameters separated by comma, which are going to be variables that are passed to the function. So they're called parameters. And then inside the curly brackets, we have the actual code or the body of the function, which is gonna be where all the uh, action that the function is gonna be performing. So it's gonna be our code. And then this is how we call the function. So we specify its name and uh, the round brackets, with the optional parameters, which are gonna, gonna be uh, values that are gonna be passed to these variables up here. And of course, we end the call with the semicolon. We end the statement with a semicolon. So you can think of function parameters are uh, as just like variables, uh, which are gonna be passed to the function. All right, so let's go ahead and actually write the function now. So, I'm just gonna write a very simple function that's going to multiply two numbers together. So I'm gonna name it, I'm gonna name the function multiply and it's going to accept two parameters. And I'm gonna separate them with a comma. And uh, all it's going to do is going to show the message box with these two numbers multiplied. And so that's um, how we define the function and then let's call the function so we specify its name and then we specify the values for these two variables uh, that are gonna be passed to our function so we can say 5 and 10 for example and um, now let's go ahead and run this and we get 50 which is uh, what the function is supposed to do multiply two numbers together all right, so the function can also return values. So if I comment this out here, we can also say return one times two, and that will be a different way than uh, just printing it out. So now we can uh, declare a variable and we can say multiply five times five and um, this will actually store the return value from the function inside of our total variable. And so now if we print out total, we'll get 25. All right, so there's also a, something called a scope within the function. So let's go ahead and declare another function and uh, name it hello. And inside of this function, I'm going to declare a variable. So when the variable is declared inside the function like this, it's called local scope. And local scope means that the variable can only be accessed within the function. It cannot be accessed outside of it here. So if we try to print it here, we're not gonna get anything uh, because uh, the variable is not accessible outside of the function. So this variable has a local scope. And now if we try to, now if I call hello and I say alert name within the function, that's it that's going to work because we're uh, accessing the name from within the function. So now we get clever. Okay, and uh, the way to declare a global variable is to declare it like we usually do outside of the function. So if I declare another variable here, call it last name, this variable can be accessed anywhere including within the functions. And this is uh, really uh, important to distinguish because that's not how it works in PHP, for example. 
So in PHP, if we declare the variable outside of the function, it's not going to be accessed within the function. In JavaScript, on the other hand, this variable is accessible inside of the function. So we can say alert name and then use concatenation and say let's do space and then last name. And now we should get clever ticky. Clever ticky. So that's the global scope and uh, local scope, and that's how that works. Now there's also something called uh, default values for the function. So instead of uh, declaring these two here or specifying these two here, we can uh, we can uh, specify default values for these two. So for example, let's do nine times nine and ten. So if we call multiply now, let me comment this out here. Let me comment this out also. So if I say multiply now without specifying any parameters, we're going to get uh, functions default parameters. And so it's going to be 9 times 10. And um, let's go ahead and um, print this out with an alert message box. So now we should get 90 because those are the default values of these parameters. And uh, when calling a function and specifying the parameters, they're going to overwrite the default ones. So the, defa so the ones that are specified when the function is called are going to overwrite the default ones because they have priority. Uh, parameters have priority over default ones specified in function declaration. So if we call this now, we're going to get 25. All right, so that covers the basics for the functions in JavaScript. Hope I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.